Gundam Battle Operation. Next, 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 next. And we're going to call this one Day 26. Uh, so basically, we're in the 00 Riser GN3 event. And it is Monday, May 22nd, 2017. Okay. And there it is. The GN3 00 Riser uh, is quite godly. And, uh, Primarily a beam using unit with a missile barrage. Uh, it's, it's really hard. You can go either way to focus on the missile barrage and the melee, or to go with the uh, beam and and focus on the melee in your uh, custom parts menu. As you can see, you can go either way. Um, I believe I've selected uh, my parts setup number one, which is just chock full of level three goodness. At any rate, I've had uh, getting it over the weekend was kind of a curse in itself. In that. Uh, not too many smart people playing on the weekends, and since this is a non-RP event, all of the max, all of the matches are potentially fixed with uh, guys who play as a team together. And the fun part about that is, you usually don't end up with their team. You end up with a team full of people who have no clue about what a conquest mode is. I'm sorry, this is going to be a miniature rant. Conquest, folks, is the capturing of relays. Capturing of uh, land. You're taking on territory and you're capturing it. It is not a fight for sea alone. It is not a uh, death match. As I have stressed before, the capturing of sea is kind of a stupid thing to worry about as as soon as a mobile armor shows up, third infantry force or whatever you want to call it, um, it will get taken by that third infantry force and everybody around it will be destroyed. Why would you want to inflict yourself on that? Gundam Battle Operation. Next, next, returns with the Double O Riser GN3. Seem to have a somewhat confident team. We've captured. I'm taking an area over here where this guy can't... It's a Zeta. Okay, Zetas have been a hard time for the old GN3. And that's how we make a kill with a GN3, folks. Thank you for watching. That was a level 5 to level 6 Zeta, by the way. Yay me. You know he'll be 
up for revenge. Oh shit, three of them over there. Okay, we captured that point. And we're ahead. Always keep your eyes on the tickets, folks. Relays, we don't have them all, but we're ahead in tickets, so that's a thing. You're not playing a, a raid unit, then you're playing a raid role. It would appear somebody is attacking our base. Here's how we handle a base attack, folks. Find attacker. Hit up. Your base will now strongly attack them. They're dead. Move on out. Please notice the damage of your base. If your base has taken considerable damage. You might want to stay in the local area and keep that base. Hey, gives me a better chance to spawn at my base for the next thing. Always keep in mind, where am I going to spawn? There's too many enemies over there. I don't want to spawn away from this base because... I tell you when, folks. You don't leave your base undefended with that many enemies around. You don't stop tapping bases just because you're like 700 points ahead. They can easily grab every base and, and diminish that to nothing by killing four or five people. It has happened. It will happen. Keep your eyes on the prize, folks. Double O Riser can be an excellent machine, just depending on your team and how smart you play. This is Master Lupin03. Thank you for watching. And I don't ever ask it uh, in quite a while, but please subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Okay, no,